What's up everybody? How are y'all doing this afternoon? So, I did a little video this morning on my first attempt here at a 3D printing purge waste recycling method. Okay, essentially the recycling is, I'm sure you've seen these before, lots of content creators doing a lot of 3D printers do it because it's a way to essentially not waste anything. Um, so all of the purge waste that I had basically gotten from my P1S with the AMS and then the purge waste that I had from printing this uh, Pipecox Catbot model, which is a four color print as you can see and I'm still just on awe of this print and how well it came out. So um, that little guy. So. I put that all in this mold. Now this mold I got off of Amazon, I think it was like $9. The company that I got it from is this, I think Faint Main X. And uh, they send you a little thank you, talking about that they are a small family company. And then also it comes with these two little pouches. Uh, this is either glitter or it's mica powder. Um, I have some mica powder down there that I use in the resin printer. Um, because this is primarily used for silicone molds and stuff like that. But high quality silicone, which this is, is temperature resistant, typically up to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, so, or a little bit more. Um, and it has the beauty of silicone, you know, nothing sticks to it. And this is very flexible. You can pop this inside out and that's exactly how I took the took the mold out once it uh, cooled down overnight but um, what I did was I filled this whole thing up and with the purge waste then gradually melted it down over um, it, it was at least a couple of hours an hour a couple of hours or so um, and then letting it sit and trying to get some of the air out and uh, just repeating that process till I got almost all the way up to the top as you can see it you know it locked in some of the bubbles that were precipitating out of it be really cool if i had some kind of fancy heat chamber that i could also pull a vacuum on at the same time um that'd be really neat but um it, it came out great now i have learned uh, some people gave some recommendations that if you lower the temperature down a little bit it'll preserve the color better and that might be why it's so dark but there also was a lot of black uh, in this print particularly and that's the purge that went down first so in here it was the gold the blue the silver and the black and and there is some depth of color in there but then um, all the other bits that uh, of different prints that I've had all got mixed in there and everything but it the mold worked fantastic uh, it worked really well uh, I think I'm going to get me, uh, try to go to a resale shop or Goodwill or something to find a little junk uh, toaster oven or something to use instead of the big because I bet the temperature would be a little bit easier to control inside of a smaller oven than, than a full size, you know, oven and stuff. Um, but it's really cool. This thing weighs, I'd say at least a couple of kilos. I mean, this, this feels like two rolls of filament and it is solid. I mean, like bowling ball solid is the way this thing feels, you know. But uh, I didn't expect this to be that big. That's what she said. Um, but I haven't ever heard that. It, uh, I'll try some smaller models or some smaller silicone molds in different shapes and stuff going forward. But uh, it worked out great. So it's a really cool way um, to, got some stuff there. This cheek came out all right. That's got some bubbles there, but you know, it's first attempt. It's a really cool way to not waste anything. So even with like that box of failed prints I've got over there, uh, what I've seen some people do is they'll go get an old junk uh, blender and they will break that down as much as they can by hand and they'll throw it in the blender give it a few puzzles it'll chop it up and then they'll use that uh, in the mold and that might even work better because the smaller it is the easier it will melt you know so this was some decent this had some decent sized chunks in it so it took a while for it to melt thoroughly but anyway just thought I'd show you all that really cool way to, to not waste anything 
and uh, get something else that you could potentially uh, sell or, or whatever. So there you go.